at the Honey Bear Bar and Grill. We're going to go on in and have some lunch and some bloody merriment of our own. They still got the bear I carved them. That's great. Sometimes people accept the gift and they don't really actually like it. I am sitting with the owner, Cliff Harvent. Cliff, thank you so much for joining us. Sure. I, I hope uh, you're a Drink Wisconsin Lee fan. Oh, absolutely. Because we're a Honey Bear fan. We ate here and it was fantastic. Thank you. Cliff, we heard a rumor that you have one of the best Bloody Marys in Wisconsin. Would that be true? Yeah, absolutely. Great. Just as an example, we probably served four or five hundred bodies this last week. How long? To the same guy? Hit me, Debbie. Oh, awesome. All 15 toppings? All 15. Oh, this is a protein shake waiting to happen. Oh my gosh, you got one, what do you call it, a cocktail onion? It is a pearl onion. A pearl onion, oh cute, what's this? A peppercini. What's this? A carrot. What about that? Celery. What's that? An olive. What's that? A mushroom. <laughs> what do you got there? A Brussels sprout. Oh, what's this little guy? That is an onion ring. Oh, cute. What about... This is a keto diet right here. What's giving it the kick in here? Or is that the secret? That's the secret. Oh, man! Okay, okay. Uh, Tabasco? Nope. Where sister? Um, Pete's Red Hot? Nope. Buffalo sauce? Nope. Can you spell Worcester sauce? Hey, the Bloody Mary at the Honey Bear in Eagle River did not disappoint. The consistency and the spice level is my favorite thing about it. And the number of accoutrements. I can get my full daily serving of fruits and vegetables and fungi. Look at that little mushroom. And especially great news. Hey, Cliff, turns out I'm not allergic to shrimp. <laughs> but he's relieved. That's quite a liability. You know, everybody really would like to know, is it true that the Bloody Mary, and especially your Bloody Mary, cures hangovers? Well, some have said so, but I'm, I'm not sure. Just say yes. Yes, of course. <laughs>